Yes, honey. I have your salmon eggs. I had to go to three different places to get them, but I found them. Hey, did you get any beer? Why don't you look in your tackle box, Chester? Oh, in my tackle box. What should I be putting in my tackle box next? Bless you. Ah, mm. I tell you, it makes a man glad to be alive. Mm. Ah. I go to the store, I got more stuff than I got the time before. That's really incredible. I don't know what I'm... Oh, there, yes. Yes, I know. Oh, poor sweetie. Poor sweetie. Yes. You're gonna get dinner. You're gonna get dinner. Don't panic. Okay, wait. First you have to let go of Mommy's shirt or nobody's gonna get fed. All right, now, you hold it right there. It's coming. Look at that, sardine. You're gonna have sardines. You can't go over the side. You have to stay right there and smell it. Smell it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Is that motivation for you? Does that activate your glands? Now, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can't get this open. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Well, all right, all right, all right. Here. Oh, I know. You're just ravenous. Just wait for Mommy, please. Don't be like that. Wait one second. Over here. I'm really, really crazy today. Sam, you've been eating since we got you. Okay. Now, here. There. There you go. Yes, that poor baby was absolutely ravenous. Really starving. Your mommy treats you badly? No. That's right. Just stuff your face. Absolutely make a pig of yourself. Do you have a secret life? I bet you have a secret life. Poor baby. You were neglected. You were neglected. Chester! Hey, baby, listen. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Oh, that's good. Have a little good. drink. Very helpful. This is to your return, dear. To your return. Mm, my little galley's late now. Hurry back. Yes. Yes. Oh. Because your baby missed you. Oh, Mom. that's a I want to show you what I made for Bobby. Mm. They're coverable. And they're really, really spectacular. Look at they are spectacular. They're beautiful. Isn't that great? Look, look. I love them. They're great. <laughs> Lisa and I are thinking about really going into business and making these. Oh, it's marvelous. I figured together you ought to make about 37 cents an hour. <laughs> hey, what's with the television set? I mean, what's with the television set? I don't know. I didn't have it on the entire time you were gone. Oh, you mean you just sat there and pined away to both of you? Oh, I did. I pined. Oh. I pined. Oh, that's wonderful. I just <laughs> dig the photo of you pined. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I gotta go next door. Sally, <laughs> if we could come to me, tell her that they're all top of the garden. Let's find the back door, okay? Right here. Yeah. And Be pine back. while you're gone. Samuel? Who's this? Oh, Samuel, you broke my 49 cent thing. I really did like that thing. You're a bad cat. You really are. Can you boys give us a hand clearing this area? Sure. Do you have any guns? Oh, I just spent three million dollars on something. What is this thing? All of them are the same. Oh. Chester! Chester! Felisa, the box is right here. Remember what I said? It's right here. Great communication, just great. All right, be back in a second. Samuel! Samuel! What's going on with that cat? Sam? Here, Puss. Here, Puss. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. kitty. Here, kitty. Here, kitty. Here. Come on, Sam. Where are you? Sam. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Bet you're after those birds again. I know your story. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Sam. Sam. Come here. Come here. Samuel, where are you? to get him over here? Oh, I don't think so. Salutations, salutations. Hi. I see you've got everything done. Decorations. Yeah. Brownies are made. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm going to go over to Marion's and Chester's and get Bobby's present. Oh, wow. I forgot to get Bobby a present. Hmm. Now I know why. Hey, do you think you'll have any trouble getting Bobby here? I mean, it won't be much of a party without him. 
Oh, it's going to be no problem. I might have to really lay it off thick, but um, <laughs> it won't be any problem. Okay. Except play along with me, okay? I will. Tell everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Well, uh, listen, if everything is together, then we're going to split. See you later. Oh, wait a minute. People are coming soon. Yeah? Uh, well, we're going to go discover uh, acoustics. Right. We'll be are right back. Are you sure you'll be right back? We'll be right back. Ciao. Bye-bye. Now all the images of Tara, the demons of your mind, crowd in on you to destroy you. We'll be back to our feature film in a minute. But first, ladies, do you find yourself in this situation? Laura, these vegetables were mutilated. Well, honey, I just didn't have... I remember. Let's see. I had to cover all spores. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Mm -hmm. Spores. Easy to pick up. See that? She thinks I'm dumb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, honey, there must be a... Ecology? Yes, girl. One, two, three, we're going on a hike. One, two, three, we're going on a hike. One, two, three, hold it, men, men. Can any of you identify this little plant that I just picked from the side of the road? What? Mustard! Very good, it is a mustard plant, M-U-S-T-A-R-D. The same kind of mustard that you find on your mother's kitchen table or on your little hot dogs. Now, mustard is a very strong and crafty plant and can survive under almost any conditions. It comes from the turnip, broccoli, and watercress family. And I want you to remember that as we go on with our hike. We saw it again in Dad's store. Dave, it's bigger now. Your story's gotten bigger now, kid. Dave, look at me. Do I look like somebody's playing a practical joke? Am I laughing? Or am I, am I scared stiff? What are you gonna do? Dad's spends three months She's away and everything. Oh, wait a minute. It's one thing to make a fool out of yourself, but it's another thing to make a fool out of the police department and the whole crazy. He's right, Lieutenant. Been wrong before, Maybe I have. Well, as long as I'm in charge of this company, I'm going to handle this thing the way it is. Everybody's great. And your job right now is to help me restore some order around here. Now they're all black. They're all green. Can I see one thing on this side? This is an emergency. We go crazy. Our radio used to be good enough. Men, come on up here, men. Look who's coming down the road. It's our old friend, Miss Clark. All right, men, let's give Miss Clark our usual good day greeting. Good day, Miss Clark. A little louder. Good day, Miss Clark. How are you, Miss Clark? Fine, Mr. Edelman. And have you had a nice day today? Oh, it's been just wonderful. Our usual hiking trip wouldn't be the same without running into you. Right, boys? <laughs> Look what the boys and I picked for you, Miss Clark. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. A little mustard plant. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, everybody, thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Clark. Oh, that's very nice. It's really sweet. Well, have a wonderful day. We're going to try to make it to the top of the mountain tonight. Good. Oh, Something good. we've never done before. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, have a nice time. Thank you, Miss Clark. Bye. Goodbye, Miss Clark. Bye. Goodbye, Miss Clark. Bye. All right, man, that's enough of Miss Clark. At the sound of the bell, I want you to charge. Bang! Charge! Charge! Keep going. Do not give up. Get up, man. Don't fall down. Be a scout. Be prepared. Be Chester, what's wrong? 
Chester? and the boys do need this. <laughs> we all need this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Just uh, bring back what you don't use. Of course. <laughs> Preston, say thank you to the uh, cowboy. Preston, take this and let's go back to the boys. Thank you again very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch out for the Wolverines. <laughs> Pick that up. One, two, three, build your tent. One, two, three, build your tent. License number was on the car, which drove away. Now look, uh, she just just ran me into the side of the road. I mean, that's a crime. You can't do a thing like yes, that, can you? Yes, leaving the scene of an accident it is a crime, Mr. Fazio. But uh, it's your word against hers. Yes. Well, she's not here, so she, the point is, she did pull me off the road. I mean, I'm 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 um, I'm a man with a certain influence that's and stuff. Right, this Fazio, is my home but, right uh, here. I have you a business have up to here. Prove it. Why don't you get in the car and? Uh, how can I prove it if you? 
Here, here, that's her. That. Hey, hey, that's her. Hey, 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 you, you, hey, you, hey, 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 come on. All right, all right. Come on, Take come on. Take it easy. Get him, get him, get him, Just get him. Calm down, get him. Come on, Mr. Come on. Get him. Get him. Hold it, hold it. Go in there. What'd you bring me here for then? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so afraid. Oh. You better wait over by the car, okay? Chester. Hey, Chester. came over him and he was screaming and he dissolved right there. It looks all right. Large and lumpy and they lose their charm and everything and their curve. And again, you lost your appearance. And the thighs not big and too big in the outside and you can't look good in your clothes or your clothes or whatever. All right, let's go. Come on. Jack Lelaine. Is this our? Whoops. Oh, look at that. I've never known Chester to leave a full can of beer for anything. One, two, three. We didn't check the back room. Stand still. This is the sheriff. Sheriff, sheriff, Chester has been killed. Chester. Hold it. Who are you? I'm, I'm Lisa Clark. Lisa Clark. He was screaming. And hold it, hold it. Who are you? Uh, Bobby Hartford. Is this your car? It's mine, it's mine. All right, now, who was killed? Chester Hargis, and he lives right here. Where's the body? I don't know, it's gone. All right, come over here to my car. Control, officer needs assistance. Send some men over to 721 Hastings Street right away. That's right. Sheriff Jones, code 7. All right, you two get in the back. Far out, I fear. No. Uh, 
Good night, sweet princess. Calling is such sweet scary. Uh, 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 um, so, um, um, I dig the way my voice sounds in Well, I know. dig <laughs> the way your voice... Really, man, I think Bobby ought to tape it. It sounds like... Raven, Raven, oh, Raven! Ow, 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 Okay, well, we get this band of Armenian midgets to abduct Bobby, you see. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. They stick him in a sack, drag him into the car, and... Uh, we... We get this Tasmanian gondolier to dress up in a chartreuse Ambiji uniform, and then... Freeze! <laughs> Officer, we're just on our way to a party. Just hold it right there. What, what, what's the idea? What, what's going on? Why don't you put your hands where I can see you? Uh, on your head. It's only me. Hey, Sims, there's a call for assistance on the radio. We'd better drop this. <laughs> drop this? No, I'm not dropping anything. Ah, oh, they're just kids. Just kids, huh? Well, when you get a call that an officer's in trouble, it's more important. Let's go. Can, can we go? We'll, we'll go right home. Yeah, no. Okay, you do what you want, Ted. I'm going on that call. Keep your hands on your heads and come out real slow. What's that behind you? <laughs> Don't get cute. Just come out. No, man. He's not kidding. There's something behind you. Now, are you going to come out or do I have to come in and get you? Look out! Special unit, central control, Williams and Davis, sir. I need someone to go inside with me and someone to keep an eye on these two. But I just left Sims out on a rest. Okay, Kelly, you go on back with Sims. Jim, you right. cover the front door. Right. Oh, my God. Ha. Ah. Obviously. Are you a barber? Do I look like a barber? A hairstylist. Don't you get snotty with me again, young fellow. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean anything. I'm a stylist. No, no, I'm... I'm more than that. I'm an artist. What are you doing here? I'd like a haircut. You? Would like a haircut? Yeah. I don't cut hair. I... I sculpt it. 
You want a hair sculpt? Yeah. And I think it could help you. Wow. Turn around. All the way, all the way. All the way back. Don't be timid. All the way back. It'd be four hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Sure. Let me see. Well, I... I got some in this pocket. Uh, <laughs> here, I got some more in that pocket. Oh, we can go through the rest of the pockets later around. Don't oh, okay. No, I'll hold it. Oh, yeah, you hold it, man. Wouldn't want to get it wet during no. the shampoo. Yeah. Wow. Shampoo. It's going to be $200, you know, for the shampoo alone. Now, generally, I sculpt the hair before the shampoo, but in your case, it simply cries out for washing. <laughs> Take those out. Six. <clears throat> I get the feeling that I am the first human being to ever touch your hair, is that correct? <laughs> uh, my mother did once. Michelangelo's medium was white Carrara marble. Mine is hair. Oh. We'll have to moisten you a little bit. Uh, You're not afraid of water, are you? No, uh-uh. Uh, well, there's a goodly amount uh, of debris coming out of there. Uh, oh. There you uh, go. Uh, uh, you know you smell of incense? <laughs> I'll have to remember that. Now sit up, uh -huh. and we'll foam you. Uh, uh. Whew. I think so. Oh, there we go. Ah. Oh, hey, that feels good. Yes. You are good. Yes, and you are dirty. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you devil. Oh, yes, we can do a good hey. job. You oh, know. yeah. You do groan a great deal, don't you? <laughs> I think you're purring. Mm. All right. Now. We'll get all of this awful foamy stuff off your head, and then I'll go to work okay. with my mallet and chisel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Salute to law and order. I mean it. It's amazing. That's really fast service, you know? <laughs> well, we try to maintain a you, level of efficiency. You do, you do. What is this? You're all computerized now, right? <laughs> hey, I mean that speed. I, I, these kids, I tell you, they ran into my car off the road today. The sheriff was there like that. And I mean, this is really amazing. I really want to congratulate you. Oh, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Not at Here all. Hey, you, sheriff. you're far too modest. Oh, <laughs> good work, sheriff. Good work. Hey. <laughs> Double thanks, huh? You bet. That's the spirit. Good work. I mean, that was really fast. Hello, Sheriff. Good work. Yes, sir. These are the kids. <clears throat> OK, you two can go home. Here, uh, listen, I, I want these two arrested. Look, there's nothing in there. If they don't turn up before morning, while well, you two stop by the station and file a report. No, Chester is dead, and I don't even know what happened to Marion, and there's this thing, and it eats people. Maybe you two kids are on a trip or something I don't know, and I don't care. Now, my deputies and I made a thorough search of the house, and there is nothing in there. Now, let's just clear out. I'm not tripping out. I know exactly what I saw. You've caused enough trouble for one night, young lady. I think we ought to take him down to the station. Oh, what do you God. say, Sheriff? If they don't turn up by morning, you stop in and make a report. Dad! Here. Sheriff, just a minute. I want to place a citizen's arrest. These kids ran me off the road. You saw it. Oi. Here. Uh, just a minute. Uh... Sheriff? Sheriff, these are there. That is the blazer that I was. Uh. Uh. Do you believe me? Hey, let's go to your place and have an avocado sandwich, huh? 
on whole wheat bread with alfalfa sprouts and Monterey Jack cheese. Bobby. And no bacon. Please. Please believe me. Oh, darling. Bobby, please. I love you. I want to see. You'll never believe what I've seen. I don't believe what I've seen. <laughs> I don't suppose you got any identification. You get in the car, nature boy. What do you want to do? No, I mean, we have to do something about what happened today. Oh, darling, let's not talk about it anymore, okay? We'll talk about it tomorrow. You don't believe me, do you? I believe you, but we went over there and there was nothing there, right? Huh? Hey, let's get wrecked. No, no. Want to get wrecked with no, me? No, I don't want to. Huh? Want to go Betty bye? Go Betty bye, Bobby? Come on. <laughs> hey! Where's my 
Fix you an avocado sandwich, okay? With bacon. <laughs> okay, I like bacon. <laughs> I want it with bacon. Hey, buddy, hey, cool it. Stop gonna get us all out of trouble around here. Yeah. Stop going to No, I told you, this is an emergency. You just find him and put him through to me. I don't care. Of course I'll wait. What do you think? So says me, I said, we'll see how Tom needs to. What's that? Indecent exposure. What did it do? Prop him down the street in his birthday suit. <laughs> Say, I haven't had a chance to get back to Sims, and he hasn't shown up yet. What was it? Just a couple of kids turning on in a drain pipe. I sent Eddie over to check it out. Anything else? Well, we're having a really weird night here. Nobody's where they're supposed to be. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Carmel just called. Her husband's a barber, very steady type. Always comes home, only he didn't. He's not in the shop. Her oldest son went to look for him, and the shop was wide open and nobody there. Mrs. Barker, who's always home, ain't. And Mr. Ziegler, who had a very important meeting to make, uh, he didn't make it there or anyplace else. No way to check that out. And uh, I got a half dozen more missing person calls. Here, try this out. Yes. Inside. I don't want to try anything. Get away from me. What's going on? What about the big annual tournament down at the bowling alley? I didn't think of it. That's why I, as the sheriff, and you, as the deputy. When he's dead, yes. When he's a big, big turtle, when he goes, he's dead. Will you excuse me? My girl's not feeling good, and I, I want to take her home. I'm sorry, sir. Uh... You too. What are you doing here? Haven't you caused enough damage for one day? I'm Get really... out and look at my car, what I'm you've really done. I'm really sorry about that, but Sorry I'm... doesn't pay the bills, please, sonny please, boy. Please, I, didn't mean to do I don't care what no, you meant, damn. cutie. I just want you to see what you've done to my car. I'll back just... up. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Not over my dead body, you don't. Just, just, just. Okay, mm -hmm. have it your own way. Hey! 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 All right, sonny boy, that's the way you want to play it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Ow! Oh. Ow! No, and I'd really rather not. But I'll take care of it in the morning. I'll remember where that alley was. I'll, okay. I'll go see him about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay I'm glad. <laughs> I hate hippies. I hate hippies! They ruin all of us. The trouble with you is you're hostile. I'm hostile? You're basically hostile. Kiss me. <laughs> that yeah, was a hostile gesture, disguised in the language. Right? You are hostile. You've been attacking me ever since we opened the bottle. You're a half-tailed philosopher. Yeah. I'm beginning to dislike you, you one-eyed platypus. Get away one-eyed platypus. Get away from me. platypus and don't push my friend. <laughs> Will you stop looking? Will you? <laughs> See, you would like to get away from me. Get away from me. She's looking for my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Take your beard off, man. Well, you know, I think you look like a hippie. You're wearing one of those serapes, right? I stole it. I from stole a hippie? It. No, I stole it from bullets. Get out of it. <laughs> yeah, you're like the hippies, you know, as long as we give you something. Shut up. You're happy. <laughs> Don't give me nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Stop talking. Wait. What's what that? The, what is that? Wanna go look? No, <laughs> you go look. You go look. Go on, look. Uh, let's compromise. You don't look, huh? You don't believe in a hereafter or anything like that. You, you're a big hippie. Yeah, you know, uh, hippie schmippy. Uh, my partner here will go look, right? Ooh. Go on, go on. Go on, look, man. Now, listen, I'll tell you a thing about brain surgery. All right, tell me. The thing is, uh, I knew of a hippie. You do his income tax. He had a sharpened pencil. A hippie doing his income tax. And he leaned on his sharpened pencil, went right up his nose, and he gave himself a transorbital leukectomy right in the brain. What did he give himself? Uh, it was an accident. Like, hippies pay income tax. That's the point of the story. Well, it's saying just like you and me. Okay, well, <laughs> well, I don't know what that is. Mr. Edelman brings his scout troop up here twice a year. I'm sorry, Bobby. What do you mean? I wanted your birthday to be special. It was. It was a super birthday. I just don't know what happened. I don't know what's real anymore. Israel. <laughs> hey. It's your birthday present. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> it's your birthday. It's your birthday present. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> do that. You're supposed to wait for the man to show up. Come on, who are you kidding? you're going to go too far. It's one thing to rip off gasoline, but it's another if you're going to start stealing stuff. I won't put up with it. Well, if you don't like it, don't put up with it. Right away. Oh, not that monster. Will you try to find him? Yeah, it's very urgent. I'll tell you what we'll do then. Yeah, I'll we'll go this way. I'll stay here. You go down there and you meet us here in half an hour. All right? Don't. All right. All right, I'm going to stay here with Lisa. All right. All right. Get out. All right. All right, I will. Try, please. Yeah, okay. I can't reach the sheriff. Can't you tell somebody else? 
Over the phone? Are you kidding? by the American Cancer Society and AFM Incorporated. Eight and a half lady shoes, please. Don't have any eight and a half. I need an eight and a half. Seven, right? seven and a half, eight, nine, ten. Eight's too small they and nine's too big. They keep walking out with the eight and a half. To... Stay in the car. Did you guys see the sheriff? What? Huh? The sheriff! Yeah, did wow. get busted in his gorilla suit? I did! Why? Do you have a brownie? One brownie? Yeah, have you seen the sheriff? What? The sheriff! Hey, is the sheriff here? Have you seen the sheriff? Keep walking up. Yeah, yeah, I gotta be reporting out just a second. Just a second. This is my partner, man. Must have here. Look, I'll tell you what. There may be an old sheriff. I've gotta make an announcement. Hello? Hello? Your attention, everybody, please. If Sheriff Jones is in the building, would he come to the main desk? Listen to me, everybody. It's very important that you all leave this area right away. Would Sheriff Jones come to the main desk, please? Your attention, everybody. It's very important that you all leave this area immediately. Please listen to me. You're all in great danger here. There is something that has been killing people tonight. Some form of life. It'll be here any minute. You must leave the building now. That's Bobby. There's a lot of time to get out, but you got to start now. I repeat, there is great danger to anyone remaining in this building. Friends of ours have been killed already. But the whole point is you never have asked. What's that? What's that? Oh my God, Henry! Henry, there's somebody out there. Well, go on, get him off the PA. I don't want to be here. Go on, get him over there. If Sheriff Jones is here, would he please report to the main desk? What's going on here? Sheriff, do Get him on it. Get him on Come on. Out of here. Out, 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 out. Get the sheriff, man. What? Get the sheriff. Sheriff. These crazy hippies are causing trouble in the ball alley. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to apologize. The jokester and nut or something. Don't be alarmed. Go back to the tournament. Mound has been taken care of. No danger to anyone. Now, when our ice rink is open, we'll have free ice skating for two days. Thank you. Boy, I tell you, this dumb thing is just falling apart. I've been fixing the joint and it's falling apart. The pipes are up. Yeah, the whole thing. Look at it. What are you going to do? What do you need? What do you I don't know. I don't know. I just fixed it yesterday and the thing now they're dumb. Where's that Fazio? I'd like to sit him up right in the pinch and throw balls. Yeah, look, I can no, fix it. No, watch your hands. Watch your hands. You play a beautiful piano. I don't want you to get it messed up. All right, now tell you what. Hand me a trussie. I got to tighten the thing up. There's some dummies standing out there waiting to throw the dumb ball all the way down here. We could be playing some beautiful Takata and Fugies. All right, now give me the roses. I want the roses right now, pal. Come on with the roses. I'll tighten this thing up. We'll be back. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll tighten. 
I want the clothes. One clothes. Come on, pal. One clothes in front. Come on. All right, all right. Now, all right, tighten it up. Yeah. Yes, you are. Well, well, another one. Mike, what's the problem with the machines back there? Come on, we quit fooling around. Will you give me this stuff? Come on, man, just hand it to me. Give me those. Hey, hey, what is this? Hey, what's your? Hey! One set of false dentures and bridge. Okay, your bond's posted. Here you go. Watch this. Just sign it. It says you didn't leave any valuables there. Joseph? Marusi. Okay, you can go home now. Your appearance date is on this card. Don't lose it. And bring those clothes back by Monday. I'm not going alone. There's something in my house. For the last time, I'm not going home with you. Hey, just wait. I'll get right with it. Mike! All right. Anybody will get a refund that wants it. It's all right. Right here. Who's the sheriff? Put the sheriff out on now. Look, 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 uh, look, there's this weirdness going on at the bowling alley. You guys better get down there, man. Mike! Al! Hey, anybody there? What's going on? Everything okay? What's going on? Two of our friends were killed tonight by this creature. Oh, a creature? It's gonna be here anymore. Oh, something from the moon. Ah! Ah! What do you want with my life? Please listen to me. There's no time for any explanation. We gotta get everybody out of here before it's too late. You're all in danger. Yeah, I believe you. And the danger is you two. What's real and important, young lady, what's real and important is that you two are going to pay for my car and my property and for interrupting this business. Is that clear? Now, what? going on here? You got to come What seems to be the matter? You first. Well, sir, essentially, there's, there's an emergency, and we've been trying to get these guys to come you down to... Wait a minute. To come down because uh, uh, people are freaking out. Now you. Sheriff, the two kids come in here. They come barging in like we're supposed to do exactly what they say. I told them they had to wait for you. If they don't, you know, there's no law and order. What is he doing still here? Well, Sheriff, he says there's something at his house trying to eat him up. Eat him up? <laughs> What is going on with those phones? 
Those kids were right. There's something going on over that bowling alley. and look official and try to help out. Okay. Williams, will you go with him? Right, Sheriff. Can you tell us the nature of it? Bobby. Sorry. Bobby. Yeah, tell him what the thing is. Uh, it, it's, it's like a giant one-celled one animal. animal. It can move real fast and squeeze through tiny cracks. It eats living things. things. It's, it's really big. Well, a couple hours ago, it was like a man, and now it's covering the whole ring. Please hurry. It's starting to cover the booth. Do something! Honey. Our first responsibility is to get those people out of there. If we kill it here, it'll be no problem. But if we can't kill it, if that thing gets those people, it'll be true with that place. There's a hospital three blocks down in Sonora. Block that way, there's a restaurant. If that thing, whatever it is, decides to leave the ice rink, we are in a world of trouble. Well, go get your riot gear. What's going on out there? Is anybody doing anything? We're trapped in here. Is anybody doing anything out there? No. No. What's going on out there?
just might work. Get back. shop. I stuck an electrical wire into it. It didn't have any effect at all. I don't know what we'll do now. Take the cold. Remember your car? What? The air conditioning of your car. We turned it on accidentally. It made it go away. Right? We've got it. Very, very fast. It's a... Uh, where do I turn it on? Uh, oh, there's a, there's a, a switch in a metal box over there in, uh, under the windows. I can't get out that door. Well, oh, look, there's a, there's a trap door here. Be careful, be careful. Good luck, good luck.
immediately. You people move back out of this area quickly. Do as you're told. boys get on back. Williams, get those boys back. All right, you people, move out. The lighter don't work. All right. You people, get back. Get those cars out of the way. We're going to burn this building. Now, you people, get over there. What are you doing? It's over, man. We stopped it. What do you mean it's over? Close that damn thing. Come on, I'll show you. Williams, come on. Fire, take both directions. be a better world without this thing. All right, hold it right there, kids. Now, listen, Sheriff, I don't want anybody to leave this place until I know who's gonna pay for this mess. Look at that frozen, stinking thing out here. Now, as a citizen and owner of this place, I wanna make sure that Plan I could... Sure. $1,600 for the last three weeks has been I'm spent here. I'm terribly sorry, now, sir, but you're gonna have to I happen to be the really owner of this place. Yes, sir, I understand. Now, look, I, my name is Edward Crosby. Yes. I happen to own the place, Watch you understand? Restricted areas, but we're from the local television. The public has a right to see this story. Well, I'm terribly sorry, sir. It doesn't matter that you are from the local television. It's all right, Williams. Let him in. 
Thank you, Sheriff Jones. Marvin, throw some light on the sheriff. Sheriff, if you'd be good enough to walk out across this stuff, please. monster in here. You just... Marvin, follow him. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay, now everybody move back, please. Everybody move back. Please, this is a restricted area. I don't want anybody hurt here. Please step back, ma'am. I'd appreciate it very much. Our city would appreciate it very much. that light over there, please. <clears throat> Just right here to fill in. Sheriff Jones, would you step over this way, please, a moment? I'm sure our viewers would like a few comments from you on this unparalleled and tragic disaster. Just step right here. Uh, right here? Right here will be fine, thank you. Is this all right? Yes. Anytime. Well, don't you say uh, action or something? No, I'm already rolling. Oh. <clears throat> you want comments? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, this is the most incredible thing that we have ever seen. Is my lighter back? It is unbelievable. Hundreds of people have been killed by this shapeless monster. What is it? Where did it come from? Outer space? Who knows? It was stopped here by a simple chemical process. The freezing system in the pipes of an ice skating rink. And by the cooperation of everyone, pulling together in a moment of common and extreme danger. If it hadn't been stopped, this blob might have uh, devoured America, or perhaps even the entire planet. My uh, deputies and uh, the people did a uh, superb job. I have been in uh, telephone uh, communication with the President of the United States, and he wishes me to thank everyone for their help in what shall go down in history as possibly the greatest personal danger to ever confront mankind.